Hey, all, it's me, Michael Anthony Giudicissi. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid for this special update episode uh, as we explore the Flying H Schoolhouse uh, in an earlier episode. In that one, I was able to show you part of the survey, but I did not have the entire page. And uh, thanks to one of the researchers that contributes information to the show, I was able to, uh, to get this uh, to show you uh, something pretty important uh, in this investigation of was there actually a, a, a wooden house somewhere uh, on that land on the Tunstall Ranch? Well, here it is, Township 15 South Range 18 East. And this is the survey area that we talked about. We didn't have all of the margins. And so I'm going to uh, zoom in and show you a few of the things that were on here. And the first thing that you can see, uh, and all of the, the ranch runs along the Rio Feliz, which is the river right here. You can see it there. Okay. Um, all right. It, section 18, you can see what I believe says the Dolan Ranch. This was done in 1883. Jimmy Dolan acquired that D-O-L-A probably N. You know, there's some other markings in here. Uh, uh, and looks like ranch, Dolan Ranch. So uh, that would be the uh, the you know headquarters of the ranch. Um, here is the section we looked at uh, where we you know found another building, and this is a dugout. Um, and it it's not the Casey dugout, uh, which was one of the buildings that was on the uh, you know uh, the survey and was on the National Register of Historic Places. But that does not seem to say Casey. It says something else, and I don't know what it says. We just can't see it. Um, and then there's, you know, this is looks like the dugout here. Uh, you can scan the rest of this uh, map, and you can look to the south here. Hang on, let me open that up for you a little bit. You can head to the south and you'll see nothing, no buildings whatsoever. There's a kind of a dry lake bed there. Um, you can go to the north and there's nothing, no buildings there. This is very, very remote area. Um, but if you follow the Rio Feliz, and this is the this is kind of the real kicker. Um, if you follow it to the east, whoops, not that. It's, you will see right here. Tent, T-E-N-T. -E yes, a surveyor came through here to survey this land in 1883 and made sure to make note of a tent that was set along the Feliz. Tent for what? I have no idea. Itinerant photographer, somebody out camping, cowboy, chuck wagon tent, no idea but definitely a tent, probably some canvas, you know, garden variety tent that was noted on the survey. A, a structure that could be gone the next day. Somebody could take that tent down and go somewhere else. Yet nowhere on the ranch whatsoever is there any mention of a wooden building or a schoolhouse or anything of the sort. And anywhere near where the the uh, croquet kid photo is supposed to be taken. And people have been, you know, sending me theories. Oh, maybe Michael, maybe the, uh, maybe the house or the building got struck by lightning, burned to the ground. And then they rebuilt the Adobe house right on top of that foundation. 57 years later, they would build on top of a busted up broken foundation instead of just finding a better place. I mean, yeah, you, you can come up with any theory to justify what happened that you want. And you, if you can rationalize it in your mind, then it's true. But what's true based on this factual evidence is the surveyor in this case. So, uh, was, um, uh, was so meticulous that he notated a tent, a portable tent on the structure but somehow, if the croquet location is to be believed, completely missed a substantial wooden building. And I don't think that that happened. I don't think it was missed. I don't think it was there. 
And I don't think it burned down and then was rebuilt 50 years later or anything like that. I think it just wasn't there. I think the, the Flying H Adobe Schoolhouse was built in 1935, as all of the records say. But I don't think that that means that the croquet photo is necessarily not real. I do think that if it hasn't been done, and I don't know, I'm not privy to Randy's research, uh, if it hasn't been done, that a thorough evaluation of the area between Fort Sumner and Santa Rosa, New Mexico should be done to look for similar locations and see if there's any evidence whatsoever that there were uh, there was a wooden building on any of those areas in, at any point because the topography is very similar. I think the time of year is wrong based on the things that, you know, that I've observed living in New Mexico. And I think the location is wrong, but some of the people in the photo look compellingly like the people that are, they are said to be. And I think good. I'm not, a, I'm not a photo authenticator, but if I was, I would say incomplete incomplete. It's not proven yet beyond any reasonable doubt that that photo is who you say it is based on the location and time of year that you say. So I want to keep looking. If you're on the ground, Santa Rosa, Fort Sumner, anywhere in between, or you know the area well, and you uh, have some insight into where we might look for a similar location, by all means, get in touch with me, Billy the Kid Rides again at gmail.com. I'm not a, above getting uh, my hands dirty and going out and looking for stuff and uh, see if maybe we can't figure this thing out. In many people's mind, it's already figured out. It is the kid or it is not the kid. I'm on the fence and undecided, but I'd like to be decided. And so if you can help, let me know. Until next time. I am your host, Michael Anthony Judasissi, and thanks for joining me on All Things Billy the Kid. We'll see you again.